Howdy, folks. Steve here, K1GMM, had a question pop up, I believe it was last week, regarding using the expander on the Behringer Composer Pro XL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through a, a few explanations of the difference between an expander and a downward expander. Okay, so first I'm going to read something, and I believe this is off the Isotope website. And it's, what do expanders do, is the question. Again, like a compressor compresses, and a limiter limits the dynamic range, an expander expands it. Louder and quieter parts become relatively louder and quieter, respectively. As such, it's essentially the opposite of a compressor. So if you think of an expander, basically an expander will expand the dynamic range of the audio signal that's put into it. Upward expanders amplify the level of signal that passes the threshold, rather than attenuate it like a downward compressor. A downward expander attenuates signal that drops below the threshold rather than amplify it like an upward compressor. Okay, so I don't, I don't want anybody, that's kind of a complex paragraph, but I don't want people to get confused. Let's just focus on the expander side of it because he's going a little deep into compression, uh, which to me is irrelevant. Um, so basically in a nutshell, a standard expander will expand the dynamic range. A downward expander basically will attenuate that signal that drops below a set threshold. So, right? It's common sense when you think about it. So, the one thing I wanted to mention is when you see an expander on a piece of rack gear, like what you're looking at right here, this is the front panel on the Behringer Composer Pro XL, which is what I have. And you'll see right here on the left-hand side, it's a two-channel, so channel one and channel two, and you'll see both on the left side of those channels, you'll see the expander gate. My recommendation would be to never turn on that expander. Use that gate. Use it as a gate, not as a gate, not as an expander. The reason why is because you don't want to, in, in, at first glance, you'll think, oh, well, yeah, I want to expand the dynamic range, but you actually don't. And I'm going to show you the difference between an, an expander and a downward expander. The reason why you don't want to use the expander, and this has been my experience, and you can try it and you'll find out in a hurry. If you have any kind of fan noise, let's say computer fans, amplifier, Let's say you've got a, an amplifier. I can tell you the PW1 here is a very loud amplifier. The fans, sounds like an A10 warthog spooling up on the tarmac. That's why I moved it into the other room. If you use an expander, <clears throat> excuse me, if you use an expander, you're expanding the dynamic range. So what you're doing is, is you're grabbing all of that peripheral ambient noise in the room and you're expanding it. You don't want to do that because that's going to push it through to your audio into the, you know, it's going to push it to the radio. You don't want to do that. You want to go the opposite direction. You want to remove any noise you can so you have nothing but pure audio. Now, I'm talking strictly in the realm of amateur radio transceivers. Keep in mind that expanders are a great tool if you're running a recording studio. First of all, you don't have fans and all this peripheral crap running in a recording studio. It is dead silent. It's quiet. So, yeah, they're, they're a powerful tool. But when you have amplifiers, fans, all kinds of racket going on in the studio, you do not want to run an expander. So that's the difference between an upward expander and a downward expander. And I'll show you, as when you look at this rack, piece of rack gear, this Composer Pro XL. 
the top piece here. This is a picture of the front. You'll see basically all you have is a switch, is a switch with a threshold knob. So you either have an expander or you don't have an expander. And you have a gate. Now if you come down here, this is called the modern, exp uh, modern expander. Okay. I don't know what will happen if I go full screen. Probably does, it doesn't make a difference. I didn't know if it would get bigger for you on the screen. So if you look at this modern ex expander, you can run this as a downward expander. So look at the parameters you have control over on this compared to just a simple button and a threshold. Now this is this of course is running in a DAW. So you can look over here you've got a mix. I ha always have it set to full wet. And you have your output. You have your release time and your attack time. Now once you come over here to the left hand side this is where the magic happens with downward expansion. So what I do you could if you're running a DAW and you're not using this and you have a noisy shack, you're crazy because you should be using this. This will strip 100% of all ambient noise out of your audio and still push it to the radio in full spectrum in whatever spectrum bandwidth uh, you have allotted. Let's say you're running, you are, you're, you're working some ESSB or Voodoo or whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. Could be 140 hertz to 2.8 kilohertz. Same thing. Um, it will push whatever bandwidth you're pushing to the radio uh, unadulterated, but the noise will be stripped out. So you'll notice you have a ratio control. I, I spank the ratio all the way to the top. I put the range at 60 dB. This is what moves it into a downward expansion mode. Put the range at 60 dB and I adjust my knee. Uh, knee full, full uh, You've got, I, I, I can't read it. I think it's 20 dB or 30 dB. Um, I, usually you can set this anywhere from the plus or minus. And the threshold, if you monitor your audio, once you have this configured, when you monitor your audio, you can start this somewhere between the plus and the minus. And when you key, when you talk into your microphone, you'll hear noise, ambient noise coming through. And that's assuming the gate is open. Make sure you do this with the gate open. Right, so if you have a noise gate here, let me go full screen on this. So if you have a noise gate here, make sure you put this in bypass. You bypass this gate or open the threshold all the way to set this, to properly set this. So this doesn't function so much. You'll hear a lot of guys say that a downward expander functions like a gate. Well, it shouldn't. It's not a gate. It's, it's a linear gate, I guess you could say, in the sense that it will strip, it will basically gate the noise, but not the audio. I guess that's a good way to explain it. So you can take your threshold, you start talking to the mic, but when you put your cans on, you turn up the headphones, you'll hear the noise in there. And then when you start to raise this threshold, you'll see all of a sudden the noise starts to attenuate. All the background noise. So what you need to do is you need to bring this up to a level, and I would do this with all of your equipment running in the shack. Right? And you bring this level up on the threshold to the point where all that noise will completely disappear, and when you talk into the mic, all you hear is audio. And that is with the gate open. So set this to a happy place. You don't have to slam it. If, if you get to the plus marker, if you get up in here and the noise is gone, leave it there. And then just activate your gate and you're done. Uh, it will be pure, noise-free audio. So I wanted to explain that to you guys. That's the difference between an expander and a downward expander. There is no similarity between the two. <laughs> there is none. Uh, I'm just saying do not use the expander 
unless you have controls like this to push it, to force it into a downward expansion mode. You can, you can use this device, this modern expander, as an expander, but you can also set it up as a downward expander. It is awesome. Anyways, I ain't selling it. I'm just explaining the difference between the two, all right? Hopefully that explains it for you guys. You can kind of get, get your head around uh, the two the differences between the two. We'll see you all later, 7-3. And uh, have, a, have a great day, and thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support. God bless. K1GMM.